My name is Dana Gain, and today we are reviewing August real estate results. While the phenomenon of an escalating sale to list ratio has actually not been unusual for 2021, the pattern had started to recede just a little bit since its crescendo in March. However, fewer homes for sale combined with a growing pool of home buyers gave rise to a very competitive month during August. Consumers continued paying well over list price with sale amounts for homes growing ever larger, perhaps a return of the earlier trend. Let's take a look at what happened in Halton region during August 2021. The average price of detached homes continued to show signs of growth in August. Detached houses in Burlington particularly grew by the most in Halton since July, showing a 3% increase, that's month over month, with Burlington's average housing price cresting 1.4 million. Milton and Oakville saw average price increases in the detached segment as well, with growth of 1.8 and 1.9% respectively. For Milton, the average detached home price in August was 1.3 million, and for Oakville, detached properties came in just under 2 million. Semi-detached homes experienced a slightly different pricing trend. Burlington demonstrated very little change in average home price for semis during August. However, the average price in Milton increased by 2.2% to a cool 1 million for semis. Interestingly, semis in Oakville actually lost popularity during August. The average price of a semi-detached home in Oakville dropped by 8% in a single month, that's substantial, coming in at 1.07 million as compared with the 1.16 million these homes fetched during July. Similarly, Burlington and Milton experienced slight price increases for townhomes during August, increasing in price by 3 and 2% respectively. However, like with semis, Oakville townhouses lost favor during the month of August, dropping in price by 7.8% compared with the prior month. Condo apartments in Halton showed a significant upward trend. This is the real news in August compared to July. Burlington condo apartments increased by 9.8% since July of 2021, coming in at an average price of 610,000. Milton also demonstrated positive results, growing an average price by 3.4% up to 611,000 for condo apartments in Milton. In both Milton and Oakville, we saw a noticeable shift upwards in terms of sale versus list price. In other words, how much consumers are paying over list price. Semi-detached, townhouse, and condo apartments all saw an increase in the sale versus list price. Since offer prices tend to grow as more buyers enter the race for a specific home, August results demonstrate the intensifying competition in the market. To sum up, the net result of an overall shortage of homes has been tighter market conditions and sustained competition between buyers, resulting in double-digit annual increases in selling prices. Kevin Krieger, TREB president, said, The fact that new listings were at the lowest level for the past decade is alarming. It's clear that the supply of homes is not keeping pace with demand, and this situation will become worse once immigration to Canada resumes. The trend will resonate most particularly in areas like Halton Region, where demand for homes continues to outpace many other suburbs of the GTA. My name is Dana Gain, and I'm here for all your real estate needs. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, share it with your friends. If you have any questions about buying or selling a home, send your email to info at Thanks for watching. See you next time.